Welcome to my channel. So today I am here with my all blacked out 2018 Jeep Wrangler and I'm just going to be telling you about all of my mods that I've done to this truck. So I'm going to go down the list of like things that I really really needed to change or wanted to change to make it look a lot better when I first got it. And the first thing was my antenna. So my antenna as you can see I got the shorter one. Um, I didn't like how they have like the super long one. So I did switch out my antenna. I think that was like one of the first things that I switched out and that was only seven dollars and 94 cents from Amazon another thing was the headlights so the headlights were a hundred and nineteen and ninety nine cents as you can see they look really good I love how they give it you know with me having this grill it gives it that angry look and then the eyes kind of look like spied like spider eyes if that makes sense um so i really like that it did come with like the fog lights but i wasn't able to put them in i did do it myself um so um i do plan on getting a new bumper sometime soon so i'll definitely be installing those whenever i get the new bumper um the next thing was my grill so when i first got this truck i hated like the front of it like the grill i just didn't like how i don't know i just didn't like how plain it looked especially with the really yellow headlights that it came with so i knew for sure that i wanted a different um grill so when i first got it i went with like the angry eyes and the grill inserts which were really cheap on amazon um those were only 19.99 and then the grill inserts were 15 15.99 and the grill inserts actually never fit so after that i went ahead and invested into this grill which i found on ebay um as you can see i like how we had this little like grill piece right there in the middle because the other ones like you could see straight into your radiator and i didn't like that um and i also had a hard time trying to find one that was a glossy black because mostly all of them were like a matte black and i didn't want to have to pay for it to get it painted so again this grill was um 128 and 99 cents on ebay of course i'll be sure to leave the information down to all of that so you guys can go check them out if you're interested and then again i do plan on getting a new bumper if you have any suggestions on what uh bumpers look best for all black jeep be sure to let me know down in the comments because i am having a hard time trying to pick one because obviously i've been really picky about it um next we have the hood um so i wanted it to have like a really mean look as you can see like with the hood and then with the grill it just gives it that mean look um so the grill is or sorry the hood is actually by dv8 and this is the dv8 off-road heat the dispersion hood and this hood was actually 568 dollars and 99 cents and i got it from i believe it's called lives for less um it did take like maybe a week for it to arrive and i actually had it delivered to the guy that was painting it and he charged me $615 to paint it um yeah so no comment on that but anyways the next thing is my tent so for my tent I have um let's see so the bag as you can see is five percent because it's literally like a mirror so the bag I know this back glass is five percent this is five percent this is five percent and then this is 35 if you, as you can see you can kind of still see in it but from far away you can't because since the back is so dark it makes the front dark as well and then my front windshield is 35 percent so it's pretty dark um the only thing you can see is like my little flag in the front and then i have some papers in the front but um the only reason why you're able to see that is because i'll be sure to show you guys in a second but before i got this done you wasn't able to see my little flag it was like all blacked out but anyways after that after my hood i have my backup camera or actually i forgot to mention my headlight grills so, so the headlight or actually the tail light guards these were actually 1995 and as you can see i don't like how matte they are so i'm definitely gonna have to like buy some different ones that are either glossy or just not like that ashy black um but the other thing i have is my backup camera i got this installed at a local um place um down the street for me and the camera by itself was 289 dollars and 95 cents and i got it from in for what is it called um infotainment i think it's called and they did install it for me they did a really good job and then also whenever i bought the camera um i didn't realize that or i didn't 
I don't think I seen that you needed like a programmer so I did end up having to like pay extra for the programmer which was like $229 um but they do sell it as a bundle i just didn't see that when i purchased the camera um so if you get the camera you have to get the programmer which I, it's called the ob obd genie or they also said you can get it done at your like dealership but i wasn't sure if they could do it so i went ahead and just paid for the genie so that's that uh -huh. okay so next we're going into the inside of it and as you can see i have my panoramic top and this top i actually got it done by panoramic jeep on instagram i'll be sure to leave his information down below but i'll show you what it looks from the top like what it looks like from the top so as you can see my boyfriend says it looks like a solar panel but this is what it looks like from the top it's for like four pieces um he had one where it was like three pieces so it would be like this piece that piece and then one big piece at the back but since he's doing it as a diy kit now he do it to where it's in four pieces that way he can ship them out so as you can see you get that like top top off feel without the top actually being off so i really really do like that the only thing that i don't like is you know with um just having the regular top it's kind of noisy when you're driving so with this it's a lot noisier i feel like it's because of that lip that's right there so i'm gonna try to like get something to like stick that down because i feel like that's what's making it really noisy i'll show you what it looks like from the back Don't shut up. so this is what it looks like from the back as you can see the whole top is just all glass so it looks really nice when you're driving. It looks nice when it's raining. I don't get any water in at all or anything. I know people usually ask that question, um, but I don't have any problems with, you know, it getting wet or anything. Hopefully that never happens. But I know some people were like commenting on my Instagram saying that I would get um you know water in but hopefully that never happens um but anyways that is the panoramic top and that was um 13 or it was 1396 dollars and 43 cents and then i did drive to austin to get it installed and he charged me 500 dollars um so that's pretty much it for the exterior of the truck again i'll just give you another look at what it looks like um this was my i guess you could say this was like my dream car my dream truck i always wanted a jeep when i first was looking for one i was really looking for an all white jeep but i kind of just got this one which i really like it um but now we're gonna go ahead and show you the or i'm gonna go in and show you the interior so now we are in the inside of the truck and as far as the inside i really haven't really done much to it um the only thing are just like little small stuff like you know this which is you know the glossy steering wheel cover of course the regular steering wheel cover i blinked out my steering wheel logo which i knocked some of them off earlier um i had some seat covers which i actually took off because i threw them in a washer um so hopefully i didn't mess them up but i also have the floor mats um i know the floor mats were really cheap they were only like 17.90 uh, 17.99 um the, the little glossy black piece was only like 14.99 um the seat covers which i'll be sure to leave you a picture down below what they look like they're just black and red those were 156 and 95 cents which I really, really like, and I need to put them back on. And then another big thing is this digital dash. Um, it is by Carl Boater. I think I said it right. As you can see, you're able to customize it with the name of your truck, which mine is just Big Black. And it says, don't follow the crown. And that's what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. I haven't started the truck up, but I just have it on the in the on position so it has a lot of settings uh, for one you can switch like the background on it so that first one was the road mode the second one is the climb mode which just looks like this next we have the snow mode which looks like that and i love how it has the little jeep on there uh, we have the mud mode and lastly we have the sand mode and usually I like to just drive it on the road mode because that's just the one that I like. And it just looks like this. Um, and then it also has like your, you know, all this good information for you. 
um it has your media so it shows you know whatever song you're playing um it has your track line maintenance information your settings and you're able to like you know play around with all this stuff whether you want it in you know miles per hour kilometers all that good stuff and then just car information you know just different options let's see i need to mess around with this but yeah i'll do this later but anyways this dash was um twelve hundred dollars and i i don't even i think i found them on instagram so i'll be sure to leave their information down below um they do have or they're coming out with um a radio that comes with like this whole piece right here so i'm really excited for them to drop that because i definitely will be getting it because i know they have it to where like you can just like move or like you can um access the dash with your radio so you can like i know they have a video or had a video where you can like switch the background on the dash with your radio i know it's silly but i get excited about things like that but yeah so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this little short video of my jeep mods so if you have any questions just be sure to let me know down below i'll be sure to leave everything down below for you know all of the things that i've bought for my truck um this is what what is that i don't know um but yeah so um also be sure to leave me in the comments you know of good bumpers or nice bumpers that you like that you think would look good on this 2018 all black jeep um but anyways again i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time